Hi friends, this is my first video on my channel Learn with Sarah. We are going to learn my favorite subject science. What's more interesting than learning about your own body and how it works? I'm getting so excited. We are going to learn about organs. One second. Organs? What are organs? Organs are parts of your body that have special jobs to do like brain, lungs, heart, kidneys, stomach. Are my skin, muscles, bones organs? You bet they are. Skin, in fact, skin is the largest organ in our body. The liver is the second largest in our body and the largest organ in the digestive system. We will learn about the organs in details in the upcoming videos. Let's start with the organ that's the boss of our body. Yes, you guess it's right, the brain. How do you remember the way to your house? Why do your eyes blink without you even thinking about them? Where do dreams come from? Brain is in charge of all these things and a lot more. Brain and then central nervous system control everything you do. See, hear, smell, taste and touch. Your brain is a large heavy organ in your head made with tightly packed neurons. Don't get confused with neurons and neutrons. Over a hundred billion of them. Your brain interprets what you do, see, hear, smell, taste and touch and sends the messages to the rest of body and tell them what to do. Your spinal cord is a column of nerve cells running down your back that carries messages to and from your brain to the rest of the body. So friends, let's learn about the parts of the brain. They are cerebrum, cerebellum, brain stem, pituitary gland, hypothalamus and thalamus. Cerebrum, cerebellum, brain stem, Hypothalamus, thalamus, pituitary gland. So, the cerebrum. Let's look at the cerebrum first. The cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. It takes about eighty-five percent of your brain. The cerebrum controls voluntary movements, speech, uh, muscles, memory, and it's also the thinking part of the brain. It's due to the cerebrum you can learn, play, dance, and learn new topics. There are two hemispheres, two hemispheres of the cerebrum, the right hemisphere, the left hemisphere. The right hemisphere controls the left part of your body, the left hemisphere controls the right part of your body. The next is the cerebellum. It, ba it maintains the balance and controls movement. Without it, you will be falling everywhere. The next is the brainstem. At the base of the brain, the brainstem is connected to the spinal cord. The brainstem is made up of midbrain, pods, medulla oblongata, pods, pons. Pons control many, most of eye and face movements medulla oblongata is really important part of the brain it controls heart and lungs next is the pituitary gland that's also called as master gland because it controls other hormone glands next is the thalamus and hypothalamus Thalamus and hypothalamus control emotions and other functions like sleep, thirst and hunger. Scientists have recently discovered that after exercising, your body produces a chemical that makes the brain more willing to learn. So if you are stuck in a problem in your homework, go outside, exercise, run, play, come back and tackle the problem, you will be more able to solve it. 
Different parts of the brain do different jobs. If your brain gets damaged on any part, you will be affected in different ways depending which part got damaged. Let's take a look at this. Personality, movement, touch, making connections, sight and hearing. Let's take a look at the personality first. Damage in this area may affect your personality. Like George was a really shy and happy man. After he damaged this part of his brain, he became into really aggressive and no, no, angry man. Next is the movement. Damage in this area makes it hard to control parts of your body like an arm or a leg. This is often caused by a stroke. Touch. Damage in this area affects your touch sense. Making connections. This part is important for knowing your understanding the space around us. You put all your senses together to do this. For example, you need to make a connection to know where to move your hand to catch a ball. Next is the sight. Damage in this area may affect vision. Boxes often damage this part of the brain. B not by be being punched but by falling backward that means they have problems seeing properly the next is hearing this part is used to hear things around you and is also used to imagine a tune inside your head like a song you just have heard and can't forget it like for example, last night I heard my second favorite song and when I went to bed and that song was playing all around my head. Did you know researchers have found that serotonin, a chemical that body produces to control our moods is also used to control how much pain we feel. I told you the brain is the boss of our body, but it can do this alone. It needs nerves, in fact, a lot of them. And that's the spinal cord. So guys, take a good care of your brain. There's a lot of things we can do to take care of our brain. Eat healthy foods because they have many vitamins and minerals. Get a lot of playtime and exercise. Wear the helmet when we use either bike or do other sports that need head protection. Do challenging activities like puzzles, sudoku, making art, playing music, and reading. These give you your brain a little workout so guys in this video i will i covered the brain in the next video i'll be covering the senses bye